It's the fourth and final day of the Future Blockchain Summit at Dubai Harbor. My name is Ornella Hernandez and sitting here with me, we have Akin, the head of product at My Shop Launcher. How are you? Very well, very well. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's been amazing so far. Yeah, and you like the conference so far? Yeah, I have. Um, and the job you're doing, I remember passing by <laughs> and you know checking you guys out. It's 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 been it's been an amazing. Time. It's been fun talking to a lot of people. But tell me a little bit more about yourself and about My Shop Launcher and what you do. All right. So um, for us at My Shop Launcher, we are an e-commerce platform helping small and medium businesses in Africa to be able to take their businesses online. We understand that today an average entrepreneur, an, an average business um, uh, man or, or woman um, do more of social commerce, you know, WhatsApp, Instagram and all of that. And usually there's usually a back and forth over uh, pricing, purchase, payments and all of that. So, so you mean buying products through Instagram, through TikTok, instead yes. of going to a store or like a traditional website, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. I, and with that comes with a lot of hassles. So let me give you an instance. Um, if I am selling a jacket mm -hmm. and I post it on my Instagram, I probably have five variations of that jacket, okay. different sizes, different prices. So what that means is that I will have to load all of that as a carousel mm -hmm. on one post, right? Right. And then I'll probably post, let's say, 10 days ago, and somebody comes across my, uh, what do you call it, my my, uh, my Instagram account, and they want to purchase, and then they, they wouldn't know that I'm stocked out, you know? Okay. That okay. kind of stuff. So, but we, we providing them with a proper social media platform, um, sellers but, um, and, and merchants are able to manage inventory properly. They are able to collect payments. They are able to show stock out. They are able to deliver fulfillment you know to their locality and that's what we're giving them okay so your platform helps to address these pain points yes that you see in other types of social media uh, yes. platforms okay yes. and then are you looking to incorporate any blockchain technology at all within your platform yes uh most definitely because we understand that um the world is evolving and um people like to collect people like to have options when it comes to payments um, not just the traditional way of, you know, receiving and paying and um, people want options. So we, our next rollout would involve crypto so that our users don't, or buyers don't have limitations. They can choose whatever payment option they prefer. Okay. And where are most of those users and buyers currently located right now? Um, for us as a local business in Nigeria, they are in Nigeria. Um, fortunately for us, um, it, Nigeria has a very large amount of crypto users mm -hmm. and um, we want to tap into that. It's like us leaving money on the table, yeah. you know, if we don't tap into <laughs> that. So that's what we're doing. Why do you think that is that there is such a large crypto community based down there? All right. So um, because of the um, um, volatility of the fiat currency in Nigeria, FX problems, FX issues, you know, converting our local currency to dollar and all of that, you know, it, it, it comes with a lot of headache. Today, uh, Naira to dollar is, will be one amount in two or three days time, then you will be another amount, right? But with crypto, you know, you can you can secure, you know, the value of your money and it, it remains constant against the dollar. And that's where, you know, it removes, you know, the headache of uh, fire, that fire currency gives. So we, do, we want to tap into that and you know uh, give our uh, merchants and buyers the options to be able to, to okay makes sense and given that we are at the future blockchain summit i mm -hmm. do have to ask how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like or what would you like it to look like maybe compared to or in this case uh, with e-commerce well um personally um i think we are at a stage where it, it is no longer a stage of talk it's now a stage of action, right? Um, every business owner should know that you cannot do without blockchain because it is one of the most secure mode of operating, not just payments, your business and the web. As long as you have a business where users cut across different countries and nations and users, you need to you know, tap into the blockchain space 
that gives you security, that gives you trust, that, and that gives you reach. Um, one of the biggest problems um, um, is doing business across the world. Due, you know, due to regulations, limitations, and you know, that's where you know the blockchain industry comes in. So, two things: security, confidence, removing those hassles and bottlenecks. And that's how I see. So I see a future in 10 years' time where everything is seamless. Regardless of where I am in the world, I am able to make purchase. I am able to, you know, um, 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 probably even forget about my um, physical currency and just have it in crypto. And I don't get to the airport and then have to convert my money or right, anything. Right, I can make I payments. On that. And then a future where um, we have crypto cards where you're able to make your... your well, your, they already exist. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying that a future where, you know, we don't even rely on, you know, mm. on physical, you know, the right. other types of cards. Everyone just goes crypto card and that's it. Okay. One size fits all. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Akin. Thank you so much for having me once again. Thank you. I've, I've, had, I've had a great time. Thank you.